Hello everybody, welcome back to the Lawyer Maverick channel. For all of my returning subscribers, thank you so much for subscribing and for watching my videos. I greatly appreciate it. And for those who are new, welcome. So today I'm going to be doing a video on the purpose of discomfort. Now I know a lot of times it's very natural for us to be in a state of discomfort when we're doing something that we're not used to. And a lot of times when you are in a place of discomfort, the natural thing to do is to run away or to remove yourself from it because there's something within you that's telling you that this is wrong or that this is something that you shouldn't be in the midst of, right? So I personally have gone through that and I go through that a lot and I learned that the discomfort is something that's challenging me to get out of my comfort zone to grow in a specific area. And the power of being in discomfort is that it activates your growth and of course being comfortable and growth do not mix at all. So if you have plans to grow in anything that you do, you're going to experience some discomfort. Now, there are a lot of benefits to this discomfort, so fear not. It is okay, it's a normal feeling to have, but in this discomfort, you want to challenge yourself and you want to change your perspective. Instead of seeing it as pain or as something that you just simply don't wanna go through, see it as a challenge and see it as something that's going to help you in the long run, because it really is. It's something that has actually helped me. Being in discomfort has helped me grow, has helped build my character. It has helped me build you know, better relationships. For example, I'll have a friend, we'll get into something, and if I feel as though they don't see my point of view or if I feel like, oh, I'm uncomfortable now, I don't want to be around this person because we had this negative interaction, I can either run or I can either stay to help mend and build that friendship and grow in that friendship. But if I run from every single conflict that happens in my life, I will never grow. I will never have friends. I will never build healthy relationships because there is no perfect relationship. In every relationship, whether it be romantic, whether it be just a nice platonic friendship, you're going to experience some discomfort. Somebody's going to do something that hurts your feelings. So you have to learn how to be uncomfortable and to grow from that experience. So another benefit of discomfort is the loss of bad habits. So for example, like the one I just said before, that's a bad habit running from everything. And another example, something as simple as exercising. Exercising is very uncomfortable. But when you see other people get those results and you see what their endurance did, it motivates you and it motivates you to get up and go through whatever you have to go through to get to that ultimate goal that you have. Yes, it's uncomfortable, but the benefits definitely outweigh the discomfort. For some people, it takes a little more time. It takes a little more, you know, getting into your head and, you know, making yourself get to that point and basically being fed up with yourself to get out there and do the things that make you uncomfortable so that you can grow. Another benefit of being uncomfortable is growth in your confidence. Guys, I, for me personally, there are a lot of things that I'm uncomfortable doing that I had to do that built my confidence. One of those things is working out. Before I had very low self-confidence, I still struggle with it a little bit because I'm not exactly where I want to be, but I had very low confidence. But then when I did something that was uncomfortable, you know, eating better, working out, I was able to get those results and that built my confidence. Also, public speaking. Public speaking is something that I am very uncomfortable doing, but it seems like the more I do it, like even right now in this moment, it's something I'm struggling with. It's something that I really don't wanna do, but it seems like I keep getting these opportunities and callings to do that. And even this video, I'm a very bashful person in real life. If I don't know you, if we don't have a relationship, I'm very shy, I'm very introverted, but I'm coming out of my comfort zone this year. That's something that I'm challenging myself to do, to make videos, to be more outgoing, to build better people skills so that I can grow in this area. So whenever you decide to allow discomfort to be your best friend and allow it to really challenge you and grow, the only thing that you're going to experience is just breakthroughs. You're gonna have so many breakthroughs. I've had breakthroughs before. Every time I challenge myself or every time I get that weird feeling in my stomach when I'm facing a trial, it doesn't feel good in the moment, but after I do it, I feel really good about myself. I gain more confidence. My faith even builds even more because I'm like, God, you had me through that. Because even when, when you finally go through it, for me, it's the public speaking thing and, and many other things too, but this in particular, when you do it, 
when you get up there, it's like, oh my gosh, who was that talking? That was not me. That was you relying on God. That was God working through you because this is what he called you to do. This is what he wants you to do. So he's going to provide you the strength and the wisdom and the intelligence that you need to do what it is that you need to do. You're not even doing this on your own. Think about that too. You're not alone in this. God wants you to do this. This is why he's placing these tests in front of you so that you can endure them, so that you can pass them, so that you can grow, so he can mold you into the beautiful person that you were meant to be. And another benefit of discomfort is simply getting out out of your own way guys no matter what you plan on doing with your life there's going to be obstacles there's going to be trials there's going to be things that seem like or make you feel like maybe this is not for me but that is not the case guys I'm trying to tell you that it is not that it's not for you it's that the calling that you have on your life is expecting more of you to whom much is given much is required so you need to endure these things to build up the endurance and strength that you need to me the opposite of discomfort is endurance you know it's facing those trials it's getting through those things that do not feel good but that ultimately provide you growth provide you confidence provide you all the things that you need the character building that you need to be where it is that you're supposed to be to, to really go into your calling and your purpose and be the best at it that you can be and so for a a while even though I heard all of these things about the benefits of discomfort you know why comfort and growth don't mix and without discomfort you can't grow I used to hate hearing that I used to get on my nerves and I'm like well I can be comfortable and still grow it's just that I need to do something else but if you are always mediocre and if you are always in the same place how are you going to be satisfied you're just not. You're going to be upset. You're going to be depressed. You're going to be feeling this this feeling. You, you probably don't even know what it is. You probably can't describe it, but it's like this feeling of emptiness, some type of void. And that void is there because you are not doing what you're supposed to do. You're not challenging yourself. You're not, you're not in your calling. And you're not going to get rid of that feeling until you face your fears, until you get that endurance, until you persist, until you decide to have tenacity in the things that you do so that you can finally get to where you need to be so during times where it's very difficult for me like when I'm just in a space where I feel like I don't have like the self-control and the self-discipline to say okay I'm gonna persevere I'm gonna do this I like to turn to my Bible for you know motivation and just for confirmation from God that okay this is what you need to do I got you and I I, I see that you're trying. I see that you're trying to do the necessary things you need to do to get where it is that I want you to be to follow my plan and my footsteps for your life. And the verse that I like to turn to in those times is James 1 12 where it says blessed is the one who perseveres under trial. That verse really helps me and I like to meditate on that verse and allow that verse to give me the strength that I need because I know that okay God if I persevere through this I'm going to be blessed. You're going to bless me. You're going to reward me for this. That's what I like to do and another verse that I like to hold on to is James 1 2 to 3 consider it pure joy whenever you face trials of many kind because you know that the test of your faith produces perseverance another verse you can hold on to is be joyful in hope patient in affliction and faithful in prayer and that is in Romans 12 12 so I would recommend those Bible verses or I would recommend also an accountability partner, somebody that you can talk to or a spiritual like counselor or someone who is a little more advanced than you spiritually to go to to seek counsel. I think that's very important in these times. And in these times, I just want to encourage you not to give up, to have that endurance, to know that you're strong and that through Christ you can do all things and to just persevere and to just decide to grow, decide to, you know, get out of of your comfort zone and just decide to be the best version of yourself I promise you anything that's going to keep you mediocre anything that's going to keep you in the same place you're just not going to be satisfied and if you are satisfied I challenge you to really look within to see what your purpose truly is and to challenge yourself to seek more for yourself I'm so happy for you I know that you're going to do it I know that you're going to persevere and you're going to move past this stage of discomfort and you're going to change your perspective from discomfort to growth an opportunity to grow an opportunity to learn an opportunity to just build your character you know build your self-esteem and be the person you were called to be so Guys, I hope that this video was helpful to you. I hope that you get past that discomfort and you become strong and become everything you are meant to be, y'all. You can do it.
you can do it so thank you guys again for watching this video if you liked it please hit the like button below if you feel like this will be encouraging to someone that you know go ahead and share it you know subscribe tell your friends to subscribe so that i can be encouraged to make more videos and so that i can continue to encourage you thank you again and i'll see you in the next video bye bye